and the 13 families that ultimately control and manipulate the world today are backed by what is known the black nobility and the black nobility have been around since the, the tower of babylon you know back back biblical days and they have over years kept bloodlines um rich by marrying into the, each other's bloodlines through cousins through using ultimate seniority sense of uh passing down generation of generation of bloodline and so uh, Rothschild, Rockefeller, these people also are in that group. But the black nobilities were actually um, around before the Rothschilds. The uh, the Rothschilds being the oldest of the um, European Jewish descents that are controlling the world right now. Rothschild, uh, previously known as Bauer, B-A-U-E-R, then later switched to B-O-W-E-R. They are kind of like the, the beginning forces of New Age, New World Order. And the... Uh, the whole movement is called the Rothschild House, and everything operates outside the Black Nobility. So you have the Black Nobility, the Rothschild House, and everything that comes along after it. So I'm kind of just going to explain to you um, what the Black Nobility is. The Black Nobility is the House of Hanover in Germany. It is the House of Habsburg in Austria. It's the House of Orange in the Netherlands. It's the House of Liechtenstein in Liechtenstein, and the House of Guelph in Britain. And so you can. Google a whole bunch of these of these families. The most prominent one today is the Oldesachis, O L D E S H A C H I. Um, but these these families are around for generations and generations. And the Black Nobility, they actually the biggest Black Nobility, like I said before, is the Oldesachi, O L D E S C A L C H I. I'll pop their symbol up here. But they own a company from the Cernobio. That's Cernobio, Italy, is kind of where the origin is from. And so. These people secretly run the world. The black nobility, the first Europeans, these were the people that put the Caucasians in power and still run the world. To this day, these are the black nobility. Me. When Rome was sacked, most of them went here. And where did they found Venice? On the water. Just like they did. Copycats, aren't they? Same people. Uh, and these guys, then they married into all the royal bloodlines, the blue bloods in Europe with their money. Because these are the gold bullion people, the commerce people. And these people founded the Jesuits. The Jesuits run the world. Okay, so um, in Lille, they not they not from Earth first and foremost. This is what we gotta understand. In Lille, don't have his children are nomads on Earth because before he came, the Anunnaki had already divided Earth up into three regions: the land of Enki, we call it the motherland, Africa. It wasn't called Africa 500 years ago. It was called the Greater Sudan. Over here, we called it the Afar Inca. And they referred, and we referred to ourselves as Amur Inca. Right? So, Enlil's children, he Yahweh in the Bible. Okay? So he's promising his children that he gonna give them a homeland. That's his promise. They're not from our bloodlines. They're not even from Earth. They're not, they not native nowhere on Earth. They look like us, but they're not native to the planet at all. He didn't want the Earthborn to receive the birthright she wanted the uh, Skywalkers, the ones who travel from galaxy to galaxy with no place to steal the birthright so they'll have a homeland so they can stop being drifters through galaxies. Who are the people who run the world? It appears to me and to uh, my guest, Philip, that it is a group known as the Venetian Black Nobility. When they went to Europe, they was called Etruscans. Hmm. Right, um, and they wasn't called more. This was like in BC period to 
early AD, they didn't get a stronghold to Rome rose to power under Constantine. Mm -hmm. Right? And then they had the Nicene Council to establish the church. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. for 700 years, they ruled Europe, specifically mm -hmm. Spain. Mm -hmm. right. Through Cappadocia in Eastern Turkey, eventually to Italy, and they founded the first 10 Etruscan cities in Italy. And when those were razed, they destroyed them and they created the Roman Empire. The Romans, the Etruscans, the Holy Roman, em Roman Empire, they're all Iranians, they're all Persians, it's all Persian blood. Italians are Iranians, their practices, their beliefs, their uh, their uh, food, uh, their clothes. And so the Venetian black nobility, who are they? I'm just going to real quick share um, this this meme that's actually quite, uh, quite on point and interesting. And so let's pop this open. So it says the 13 families you think rule the world. Uh, it's often said that there's 13 bloodlines that rule the, rule the world. And people think it's the Astor bloodline, the Bundy, the Collins, the DuPonts, I'm sure you heard of, the Freemans, the Kennedys, I'm sure you've heard of, the Lee bloodline uh, in Asia, uh, the Anassas, Reynolds, Rockefeller, Rothschild, Russell, and Van Duyn. The, um, that's, I believe, the, the 13 that Fritz Springmeier, uh, an old school Christian conspiracy theorist, pretty famously brought this list forward. And I would argue that these families are the uh, front people for uh, the actual families who run the world, which are the Borgia. A lot of people think that the 1% rich elite that run the world are white, but they're not, they're black. A lot of people also feel that white colonizers are responsible for the oppression of black people around the world, but really the brainchild of that whole operation is black. Some people believe once upon a time melanated people had secret knowledge and wisdom that was stolen from them from the white race, but it wasn't stolen, it was taught. And it wasn't their idea to weaponize this knowledge against us. Again, that was the idea and brainchild of black people. Now let's not get it twisted. Rich white people played a huge role in the oppression of melanated people around the world. But I give them too much credit. They were mere train conductors pushing the train along. Now the brains behind the operation, black. Now some of y'all gonna be real mad about this message and I know y'all gonna say, oh, it's always our time that's throwing us under the bus and never could blame white people. But that's because y'all not thinking straight. Y'all not thinking with your head, you thinking with your emotions. The same people who gonna be down my back about this statement are also the same people who believe Yakub created white people in the Petri dish or that he found them in the Caucasus mountain and civilized them. Think about it. What the hell, what do you think that he created the right ways for? Where's his lineage? What happened to them? Come on. This ain't rocket science. Like, history was literally whitewashed by black people who didn't want other black people to know how great they were. Ain't that so? Little known fact. Y'all know King James? You know the one who created the Holy Bible and the Satanic Bible? His whole lineage. Black. And the elite, they know the truth. They know what's up. Why do you think the Pope and all them people in the Vatican pray to the black Madonna and black God and black Jesus? And I know a lot of y'all going to say, you just talking crazy. Where's the proof? But I'm here to tell you. Let me be the first. There's proof to every lie. So proof doesn't mean truth, baby. Okay? And the information is out there if you're willing to open your eyes and receive it. Stop. Thinking with your emotions, think with your head. Love y'all. Is black and the nobility. N O B I L I T Y. And these are melanated people. They're not like us, they're different from us. And they come from Europe. Now, a lot of them have infiltrated themselves in with us, but they're, they're not like us. And, 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 and these melanated people, they're melanated like us, but they don't think like us. They melanated, melanated like us, but they hate us. These are the black 
uh, nobility, or you can call them the arist arist aristocrats, aristocrats. You can call them that too. And what these black nobility people are, they're families that um, they build a society within a high society. See, they build a society within a high society, an elite society. And these black nobilities don't like for anybody to know who they are. They shun publicity. German and Germany and Portugal call the ones. As you see. Sixteen thirty one. The Black Nobility, Children of the Hanuk. Hi, everyone. Many of you have heard of an expression the black aristocracy of Europe. Smacks of conspiracy theory, but this is not a myth. The European aristocrats are the successors of ancient titles and fortune, and they avoid getting in the media or in the Forbes list. Here are a few surprising facts revealing the true colors of Europe's masters. The last names of the richest people haven't changed for 600 years. Apennine economists conducted an unusual research. They screened data on Florentine taxpayers in 1427 in the repository in Florence and compared them with data of the year 2011. The scientists were surprised with the results since almost 900 last names of the most wealthy taxpayers of the 15th century match those of the 21st one. You probably know that throughout all of the 20th century, writers were coming back to the subject of the aristocracy breakdown and falling of old money over and over again. They wrote poetry and novels about the devastation of noblemen. A modern European sees an aristocrat as an old weirdo hardly heating a couple of rooms in the almost destroyed patrimonial castle with a leaking roof. Suddenly, it turned out that the noble aristocratic families got over all social cataclysms. Despite of the world wars and revolutions, they managed to keep and increase their large, uncountable fortune. The Cavdor Dukes, mentioned by Shakespeare in Macbeth, keep living in the patrimonial castle. The German princes of Fürstenberg, originating in the 13th century, also live in the family residences such as castles and extremely expensive palaces. And the legendary dynasty of the Schwarzenberg owns the whole dozen of castles and palaces. Their most effective real estate is the huge palace in the Vienna city center. A third of all British land is owned by the black aristocracy. The Westminster Duke possesses a part of the well-known districts of London such as Mayfair and Belgravia. The central part of the British capital, i.e. own a company from the Cernobio, that's Cernobio, Italy, is kind of where the origin is from. And so Cernobio comes the company CERN. So this deep, deep black nobility family, old Asachi, from Cernobio creates a company called CERN and if you look here their logo is 666 I mean all of it <laughs> it's too many ties guys too many ties and the black nobility controls the whole new world order agenda they have the 13 families the council of 13 families in charge of overseeing the um, intricacies of the committee 300 which ultimately controls everything that we see in the public view, the UN, the you know federal stuff, the US, the Mossad, everything. I'll jump into all that. But I'm gonna throw up on the screen here. I have a common law name. I'm commonly known as Santo Bonacci, but the legal system due to our birth certificates, which are Vatican Roman Curia owned, is a slavery system. 
we have an estate, we have a SESTW uh, KV estate connected to our birth certificates and everything is prepaid. Tell that to your pensioner friends. Everything is prepaid. All of our um, uh, utilities are already prepaid. The utility companies are fraudulent. Make it, if, how many pensioners go to the post office to pay with that little stub? Next time you get a utility bill, try this. Ring the company and say, send me a true bill and I'll settle the true bill. Because they only sell, send statements in the mail. Because they're only allowed to send statements. Because they've already been paid and they're double dipping. If you would like to know about the true history, not the historical revisionism of the United States and how to free yourself and your family from the oppression of color of law and establish yourself as a national, right, and a sovereign instead of a citizen of the United States, DM me and I can send you this book on PDA. Daughter of Jacob who made the 13th tribe and that's the 13th bloodline. Every one of them houses has a different black face behind it, but they put that front there. They put that pale face there to stop you knowing who the devil is, who's really pulling these strings. Does that make sense to you now? This is how they did it. It wasn't just some bunch of white people who woke up one day and said, yo, we're going to kick ass and just kick ass on all these black people. That's not how it works.